I can't believe we actually have a freaking fox outfit here in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. Who thought freaking 10 years ago this is gonna be possible? I was waiting for. That's a really crazy effect. Would you still care to talk to me? So uh, what's up guys, it's here here by Nino Quaji and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer and I guess Warzone 2 and DMZ as well. In today's video, we're going to be covering a special Tracer Pack, a store bundle known as the Tracer Pack Red Fox Bundle. And this looks pretty freaking funny. We got orange traces and apparently a Red Fox anime death effect or whatever the case is for 2400 COD points and an operator skin for Hutch and tracers for the TAC V and the Signal 50. So if you guys are excited to see how this bundle looks like, how camels look like on each of the weapons, and you guys wanna know anything that's possible with this bundle in today's video, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. I upload constant store bundles, you know, ones that interest me anyways, like tracer packs or any other cool ones with decals or whatever, you know, Mastercraft reactives that come up in the future. So if you're interested in store bundles, definitely stay subscribed, or if you enjoy Warzone 2 gameplay or the occasional news and updates. I'm just honored that you're even on this video right now on my channel, and thank you for a little bit of your time. But that's enough of me talking, let's go ahead and show you guys what this bundle contains. So starting things off with the Tracer Pack Red Fox bundle, we got the Foxy Operator skin for Hutch. And this is definitely one of the most interesting Operator skins we've ever gotten. Freaking uh, Hutch has always been a really cool character in my opinion, and the fact that this man now has fox ears is kind of funny to me. So yeah, he uh, he legit is rocking everything, bro. Like a, like a freaking legend out here. I like the detail on the, the backpack here. It says something there. I'm not sure what it says, like POS. And then we also have the little fox on his leggings there, which I think is kind of, of a funny detail. So kind of a cool offer. Just gonna be want to rock them. We also got the TAC V Vulpus. And this actually comes with the death effect of the Red Fox anime and the orange trace rounds. And these are the attachments it comes with. So it comes with no ammunition. So it's not gonna be able to be transferable to other guns. But I kind of wish it was for the TAC 56 because it's kind of a very nice looking uh, blueprint here. Can't wait to see how it looks like with camels and hopefully it looks uh, surprisingly well. If anybody can like translate any of the writing on here, definitely let me know in the comment section below what it says because I'd be very interested to know what it says. Next up, we got the Signal 50 sniper rifle of the Hungry Fox blueprint. And it also comes with tracer rounds as well. I'm not really a sniper myself, but it seems like these kind of copied and pasted the design from the, uh, from the Tag V and put it on this gun as well. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about that little fox there. I think it looks kind of funny. Oh yeah, attachment-wise though, uh, yeah, it just comes with no ammunition either, so you won't be able to put it on other snipers as well, but hey, some decent attachments, I hope. Next up, we got the weapon charm known as Captain Kit Kit, which is the little fox. We got the loading screen known as No Fox Given, so kind of a nice loading screen. And we got the emblem known as Feeding Fox, so we've got all this for 2400 COD points. Uh, I don't know if you like if you guys like the tag V, but it'll probably be worth it for that and probably the operator skin as well But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cop this in the menus the camos and all of that And then we're gonna go into a game and show off the tracer rounds, which should be the best part So let's rock and roll So here we have both the tag V Vulpus and the hungry fox signal 50 with both the tracer effects uh, present here so Let's go ahead and look at the gunsmith attachments. These are the attachments that it comes with by default of course and Before going to the camos, let's go ahead and check out that charm real quick it's really freaking huge, so if you like uh, the freaking bobblehead of the fox, then there you go. But anyways, let's see how this freaking tag V looks like with camo. That's what I'm really uh, interested in. Let me actually take off the charm first so you guys can see the full effect. And camo-wise, uh, it actually like kind of bleeds through with the regular camos. It's actually kind of cool. Here's how gold looks like, platinum, polyatomic, and Orion. Uh, you can kind of see the fox within the Orion, but not all that noticeable, sadly. So I kind of wish they made that effect a little bit better. When it comes to the solid color camos, we have some really cool effects. Yeah, the fox kind of bleeds through and you can have some really interesting decorations. I mean, orange would go pretty perfect with that. But um, yeah, it's actually kind of cool. I like this. This is this is really decorative and I, and I mess with that. When it comes to the CDL camos, you can kind of see the fox within the... Uh, the CDL camel, so it does give it kind of a unique effect, but nothing like crazy or anything like that. But you can have a lot of fun with the camels in this one. That's actually really nice for at least customization if you're a fan of the Tag V, that is. When it comes to the sniper rifle of the Signal 50 here, here's how the gun looks like with all of its attachments. It actually has some really good attachments for multiplayer. And when it comes to the camos, it's very similar to the Tag V, even probably better because the, the Fox actually like bleeds through perfectly 
Uh, in terms of the mastery camels, gold, platinum. You can kind of see the fox right there in platinum. Uh, Polyatom, you can kind of see it. And Orion. So you can kind of see it, but it doesn't like show as well as the original, like the, the you know, the, the base camels, I guess you could say, of the game. And with the solid colored camels, it's the same deal. It's gonna look really nice with a blue and orange sort of vibe. You know, charcoal, everything looks really nice when it comes to the solid color camos. And when it comes to the CDL camos, as you can see, it is kind of noticeable with the CDL camos, but not as cool as the uh, solid color camos. So yeah, definitely use any of the other camos besides the, uh, the, the CDL camos and the mastery camos, and you got yourself some pretty good looking blueprints. And now you guys are probably wondering, how does the tag V look like with a meta class setup for multiplayer? So let's go ahead and compare that. Here's the base look of the Vulpus Tac V, and here is the meta class setup for the Tac V. And honestly, it's not too bad. Obviously, it's gonna su suck that the stock is a little bit uh, unshown there, but honestly, you could probably put on the or orange solid color camo and make it all orange, and then you'll be able to see the gun a lot better. But honestly, it's not too bad. You still have the design of the fox, which is what really matters, and of course, you keep the tracer effects. So here's how the base blueprint looks for the Signal 50 Hungry Fox, and here's the tryhard multiplayer class setup for the Hungry Fox. Fox Signal 50. And you guys basically see that there's basically no difference. The only thing that I changed, I believe, was either the stock or the rear grip, and they're very small parts of the gun. I would also personally change the optic to uh, the Monocle CT90, that's my preferred optic, but even then, it still looks really freaking amazing. So you can try the original optic that it comes with, or this Monocle, and you, you can destroy with this Signal 50 really well, while having a little Fox on yourself. Just kind of funny. Okay, with all that being said, let's go ahead and hop into a game, see how our boy Hutch looks like in game, and how the crazy traces look like. I'm excited to see this anime effect in game. So let's rock and roll. Okay, so here we have the beautiful Tac V freaking uh, Red Fox Vulpus uh, blueprint. It looks really nice with the uh, with the whole vibe of the gun. Like, it's a nice solid orange, and it actually looks uh, pretty sweet if I do say so myself. And here is the Signal 50 Hungry Fox camo. This basically just reminds me of Tails the Fox from Song the Hedgehog for some reason. But overall, freaking both of them look really freaking clean. And now for the part that you guys are most important for, or you guys are most waiting for. That's a really crazy effect. I like that effect. What about the sniper? Oh, that is clean. That is super freaking clean. Let me know what you guys think about that crazy tracer. That actually is a right, really nice looking tracer. Okay, so here we have an enemy. Let's check out the tracer effect. Yeah, I guess it's just the uh, the effect of the uh, like the little blast orange effect. Like it's a pretty animated effect, I guess. Let me try hitting a headshot next time and, and see how that looks like. Okay, let's go ahead and hit a headshot now. Yeah, it's just a pretty clean effect to say the least. Honestly, really tight. Like, it's a lot more animated as a, as a tracer effect. So when it comes to the sniper rifle here... That is a really nice looking effect, bro. So yeah, let me, know, let me know what you guys think about the tracer effect. Do you guys think it's worth it? You guys, it's nice. Do you guys think it's nice to attack V? Do you think it sucks that you can't put it on any other gun or what? Let me know. And now let's do a finishing move to see how it looks like uh, with Hutch. So yeah, there you go. We got our boy Hutch. Looking pretty freaking fresh, if I do say so myself. I'm switching classes to my tryhard class, just so you guys can see you can customize it any way you want, except for changing the ammunition. If you put an ammunition on this, then it won't have the tracers. Same with the Signal 50. But uh, it should have the tracers. And there you go. Nice little freaking uh, effect right there. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and go into third person mode and see how Hutch looks like in third person. So here we are in third person. We're our boy Hutch, looking pretty freaking funny. And his whole uh, fox outfit. I can't believe we actually have a freaking fox outfit here in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. Who thought freaking 10 years ago this was gonna be possible? But yeah, freaking. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this bundle. I think it's a. I don't know if it's exactly a cop, just because you can't put the traces on any other weapon. And the tag V, it recently did get nerfed in an update legit yesterday. I mean, I think it's still good in multiplayer. In Warzone 2, that might be a different story. But uh, I will have a video on the main channel using the tag V. But, I mean, the operator skin is kind of funny, too. And if you love the Signal 50, you can use that as well. But, yeah, let me know if you guys think this is worth it. And uh, without further ado, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications. Like I said, I post future sword bundles as well. And just thank you guys for enjoying the videos every single day. You guys are the best viewers ever. And keep being big ballers. I love you all. I need you.